Hello guys, welcome back to another short and sweet but power packed session of Anesthesia on this amazing platform of an academy. I am your mentor, your friend, your guide, Dr. Hitesh Nathani for the subject of Anesthesia. So where can you find me on this wonderful platform of an academy? You can find me on this plus batch course that is going on right now, that is the concise course in Anesthesia. We are about to enter into the third lesson for this course. This is the another batch course, the one that I have just now completed for the course of complete course in anesthesia. And also you can join me on my telegram group on which you can personally message me. There are daily quizzes, daily interaction happening there. So join me on my telegram group where you can personally message me, ask any doubt that you want to 24-7. These are the links for the 2021 special classes that have been completed just now and also one good news for you this weekend that is 1st and 2nd of August we are coming up with another special class marathon for you guys on which I will be taking the subject of anesthesia at 10 pm. All those who are watching us on YouTube don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated and get every notification that we are coming up with the next lecture. Moving on, after this YouTube class, you can subscribe on the Unacademy, just download the app, go to the target of Meet PG and then you can access all the special live classes which are free for you to gauge how we are interacting daily, yes, and all those who wish to subscribe on a plus platform, yes, Unacademy subscription. You can use 1, 3, 6 or 12 months of subscription and you can use the code that is Dr. Hitesh, E-R Hitesh to get extra 10% off on your subscription. Moving on to the first question for the day, it is there on your screen which is image based question, identify this device, yes, where is this used, is it a Mapleson A type of circuit, is it a closed type of circuit, option C, is it open drop anesthesia, or is it HME filter that we use on the circuits? Yes. So which of the following you know, determines it as best? Yes. So what does it look like? This is nothing but this is a open drop anesthesia method. But this instrument that is shown in this figure is known as Schimmel Bush mask. Yes. This is known as Schimmel Bush mask. Where was it used? Why was it used? It is used to give ether anesthesia. Yes. In the earlier days, we used to give the ether anesthesia via this. On top of this shimmel bush mask, we have a gauge that is 16 gauge we put it. That is the cloth of gauge. Yes. On that, we used to drop ether drop by drop on the cloth mask. Yes. So what used to happen? We used to keep it on the mouth. On top there is a gauze piece which is kept and on those gauze pieces we used to drop ether drop by drop. And what is the patient doing? The patient is breathing the atmospheric air via the ether vapors. Yes, so the ether vapors are also going in along with the atmospheric air. So this is known as open drop technique. Open drop technique and the method, the mask which is used in shown in this figure is known as Schimmel Bush mask. And this was a method which is also coming under open system of anesthesia circuits, yes. Remember anesthesia circuits we have studied it under three headings, yes. It is open, semi-closed and closed circuits, yes. The closed circuits you can always remember it with the help of, it will always have unidirectional flow. One, there will be two limbs and along with that there will be a carbon dioxide absorber present in that. Mapleson system of circuits, we have studied from Mapleson A to Mapleson E, that is ISTPs. Yes, along with ISTPs, we also have Jackson Reese modification. So, Mapleson A to Mapleson F, that is what we studied Mapleson circuits. HMA filter is a different entity altogether that is used into the circuit to filter the air. Guys, so here the correct answer is Schimmel Bush mask that is shown into the figure, and the right answer is open drop anesthesia technique. Next question, following are the indicators of difficult intubation except, yes, most of the time we just look at the difficult intubation and we mark the answer and go on, go ahead, yes. This one last word is what plays the spoil board, 
points four. Yes. So what is the difficult intubation markers? Yes. Malampati score three and four are they the markers of difficult intubation or in general difficult airway? Yes. Malampati, the higher the score, the difficult will be the intubation, difficult will be the airway. Mouth opening of less than three finger breaths. What is the normal indicator? If the mouth opening is more than three finger breaths, that is a normal airway. Yes. If it is less than three finger breaths, yes, it is going to be a difficult airway. Why? Because to introduce the laryngoscope by the oral cavity is going to be difficult. Sternal mental distance of more than 12.5 centimeters. Mentum part of the mandible and sternum. Yes, so sternal mental distance. If it is more than 12.5 centimeters, is it going to be a difficult intubation? Absolutely not. If it is less than 12.5, then it becomes a difficult intubation. So more than 12.5 is nothing but it is a normal value. So this is the correct answer here. What about neck circumference of more than 40 centimeters? When the neck circumference becomes more than 40 centimeters, it becomes what we call it like a lot of fatty tissues and all those things. But particularly in obese geriatric patients, bariatric patients, we get to see this. So in those patients, the airway, that is ventilation, as well as intubation, both the things becomes very difficult. What are the other Parameters for difficult airway, yes, are mouth opening, sternomental, neck circumference, then what will we see apart from neck circumference, we see at the cervical spine movement, that is spine movement, yes, what is the next parameter apart from spine movement, the thyromental distance, <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> Sorry, guys. So, thyro mental distance. Yes. How much is the thyro mental distance for normal airway? Normal airway thyro mental distance has to be equal to or more than 6.5 centimeters. And sternal mental distance almost double that of that. It is 12.5 centimeters. Clear about this question, guys. Moving on to the next question. Pin index for A is yes. Is it 1 4? 2, 5, 3, 5 or 1, 5. Remember, we have spoken about pin index safety systems a lot of times. These are nothing but these are safety features which are incorporated into the anesthesia machine to help and prevent prevent incorrect placement of anesthesia gas cylinders. What do you mean by that? If a cylinder containing nitrous oxide gas is present, it should be sticked and attached to the place where nitrous oxide gas cylinder, the gas passes through that, yes, from the flow meter also. But if you attach nitrous oxide containing cylinder on the port of oxygen, then what will happen? It should be a mismatch. It should not be attached even by mistake. Therefore, this is a safety feature in anesthesia machine, yes. It is a safety feature which has been incorporated into the anesthesia machine. Yes. One is the color coding, second is the spin index safety system for the incorrect attachment of anesthesia gas cylinder to the anesthesia machine. Yes. So what is the pin index for air? Is it 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 5 or 1, 5? I'll just tell you, how do you write air? We write it like that. Yes. What is present in the surroundings? The first thing that we say that the air of Delhi is very much polluted. Yes, you hear this voice. The air of Mumbai is nowadays getting very polluted. So what is present? It is the air. Yes, the first thing that we talk about is air. What do we breathe? I am breathing now fresh air. Yes, the air is fresh or the air is absolutely polluted. That is what we say, right? From the air, we require oxygen, but air constitutes of a lot of gases mixed together. Yes, so air is the first thing that we talk about. Even when you write air, you write it A I R. Yes. So I also looks like 1. So 1 has to be there in air. Yes, we have studied the pin index safety system of all the gases under the table 4, 5 and 6. Yes, so under the table of 5, if you write, you will get 3 gases. That is air, second is oxygen, third one is nitrous oxide. Yes, so these gases come under the table of 5. This, so AIR, I looks like 1. So 1 and 5 is the pin index system safety system for A. So correct answer here is option D that is 1, 5 is the pin index system safety system for A.
what are the pin indexes of other gases which is shown into this figure is yes? 4 5 and 6 that is how the pin index system we write yes first gas i have told you is air yes so i looks like one so one five is air second oxygen third nitrous oxide correct oxygen remember with the chemical formula o2 so two stands for everything here two molecules of o combines to form oxygen that is o2 so here it is two five yes nitrous oxide how is the chemical formula two molecules of nitrogen one atom of oxygen so it will form one molecule of nitrous oxide two atoms of nitrogen one atom of oxygen so total three so it is three five so this is how we study the pin index of all the gases a very simple very easy tip and trick and mnemonic to remember this so that you will never forget in your life i have discussed this time and again in my classes and also in the previous youtube sessions we have discussed this yes the circuit of choice shown in this figure is what? Yes. Is it a controlled ventilation? This circuit is used as a circuit of choice for controlled ventilation. This circuit is used as a circuit of choice for spontaneous ventilation. Or it can be used for both controlled as well as spontaneous. Or this circuit is not used nowadays. Yes, it is obsolete. So what is the circuit exactly shown in this figure? First, you should understand whether this is open semi-closed or closed circuit yes among this which category does it belong to yes open we have already seen the shimmel bush mask closed we already know it will contain two limbs and with carbon dioxide absorber so it is not open it is not closed so what is left out it is semi-closed that is Mapleson system of circuit right so among the Mapleson system of circuits from A to F which of this is the parameter for this? What is this circuit called? Yes. Is it Mapleson A, B, C, D, E or F? Yes. This is nothing but if you look at the figure, it is having a fresh gas flow. Yes. Along with the reservoir bag. Then you can see there is a corrugated tubing. Then there is this APL wall. And then comes the patient's end. Yes. So, if you look at this figure, the reservoir back corrugated tubing, APL wall and the patient end, this is a typical classic diagram of Mapleson system A. Yes, so this is Mapleson A type of circuit. Yes, also known as, this is a homework for you guys, go and read. Okay, no problem, I'll tell you, it is also known as Magill circuit. Yes. So this is a typical Mapleson A circuit. Do we use it nowadays? Yes, it is incorporated still into the anesthesia machine. Whether it is good for spontaneous or controlled ventilation? In adults, the circuit of choice for spontaneous ventilation is Mapleson A. Yes, remember in adults I am talking about. In adults, the circuit of choice for spontaneous ventilation is Mapleson A. That is nothing but Magill circuit that I have shown in this video. So correct answer here, first you have to identify, this is the Mapleson A type of circuit. This is used for circuit of choice for spontaneous respiration or spontaneous ventilation. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed today's session and also please make sure to subscribe to the Unacademy platform and all of these places where you can find me on the Unacademy as well as don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so i'll see you in my next class this is dr hitesh signing off take care stay disciplined stay motivated all the best guys